What is up squad? It's your boy Pino E here. We got a ton of stuff to talk about today. So smash that like button. If you're new around here, click subscribe. Now let's go. For today's video, let's kick it off with Puma in the women's exclusive Puma Basket Platform Exotic Gum Pack. Coming in your choice of black and gold or vaquetta tan and gold, both pairs feature faux reptile print on the leather upper with an oversized gum bottom. Ladies, if you like them, head on over to Packer Shoes who have them available now for $120 a pair. Trapstar and Puma continue their ongoing collaborations with four more new pairs releasing this spring. This collaboration features the Puma Clyde and Puma Prevail silhouettes, with each coming in a simple toned down black or olive colorway. The Clydes feature a nubuck upper with Trapstar branding on the ankle and the T logo on the heel, while the Prevail runner is built using a combination of nubuck, leather and mesh, featuring the same branding details. The collection is expected to drop March 3rd at Atmos Tokyo, which means a stateside and European release will follow soon at Puma retailers. And last up for Puma, we got to look at the latest and greatest Fenty from Rihanna. What you're looking at up on screen are the Fenty Bow Sneaker and Slide. Riri brings us the Bow Sneaker in two colorways coming in either a pink or olive which features a satin like upper with an oversized bow with the slides sharing that same look. These drop March 9th at select retailers along with Puma.com. So shit can get real corny when brands try to describe their shoes. Take this very dope Diodora as an example. The N92 WNT stands out from the crowd with warm materials and colors reminiscent of the magic of a wonderful winter sunset. A breathtaking moment, even on the coldest of days, made even more special by wearing this unique trendy shoe. Get the fuck out of here. These are dope. That description's bullshit. This is a clean shoe, and they're available now for only $99 at select retailers like Sneaker Politics. We only got one shoe from New Balance today, and they're the women's 696 Re-Engineered Mint. The 696 Re-Engineered has a slim shoe profile and features a suede upper in heather grey with contrasting mint green paneling and 3M reflective end branding. Look for them now at select retailers for only $90 a pair. Time for ASICs, and yo, I'm still waiting for that call, but whatever. What we have here is the newest edition of the ASICs Gel Light 3 coming in a white and cream colorway. This shoe is based off a white and cream leather upper with perforated paneling and gold trim found around the ASICs branding and the sock liner. Very clean colorway for anyone who likes the Gel Light 3, and for only 100 bucks, you can't really go wrong. This next one from ASICS is dope and it comes as a collaboration with Disney to go alongside the Beauty and the Beast film. This collaboration features three pairs of the ASICS Gel Light 3 with two pairs labeled as the Beauty and one as the Beast with all three grabbing their design inspiration from costumes worn in the film. Now since I'm not a lady there's no way I can rock the Beauty pairs but that Beast goes hard. There's no word on a release date yet but ASICS and Disney are giving away pairs including special packaging so go check out ASICS Tiger HQ on Instagram to enter and make sure you stay tuned for more. Let's head on over to Adidas and first up for the three stripes we have the Dame 3 on tour and it releases tomorrow. The Dame 3 is constructed using a fused mesh upper with a customizable lacing system sitting on a bounce midsole. The pair comes in a core black utility black and footwear white colorway and it will be available at select retailers along with adidas.com tomorrow for $115. Even though I haven't bought any pairs, I am a fan of the Adidas EQT Support ADV Prime Knit. And this next pair, which is starting to arrive to retailers, comes in a zebra colorway. Constructed of a black and white Prime Knit upper, the shoe features a white cage with white three stripe branding and continuing with the EQT theme for 2017, a turbo red heel tab in outsole. These release March 23rd at select retailers and on adidas.com for $140. And last up for Adidas, while the L for the Zebras is still fresh, let's take a look at the next Yeezy 350 version 2 to release, which will come in a triple white colorway. There really isn't much to say about a triple white pair. It will feature the heel tab, and most of us will most likely strike out, so start to prepare yourselves now. Also for the parents out there, these will come in infant sizing. The date is still up in the air, but they should be releasing in April for $220 in men's sizing and $140 in infant. 
Nike's turn now, and this smoky blue colorway that they're using is too dope, but for some reason it's only been featured on women's pairs. The next pair to get the smoky blue treatment is this women's Nike Dunk High, which is built using premium suede and textured leather with a gum rubber outsole. Ladies, March 6th is the date for these, and you can find them at select Nike sportswear retailers. So our squad member, that's what she said, sent me a picture of these last night and let me know that they dropped at some city gear locations, which then turned around and pulled them off the shelf. He did some detective work and heads up because this pair will be releasing in men's sizing on April 7th. Now just a heads up, the pictures are grade school sizing, but it is men's that's releasing. And last for Nike, we have the Nike Kobe AD Oregon Ducks, and they're releasing. I'm torn on this pair because on one hand, in my opinion, it's one of the nicest Kobe ADs to drop, but on the other, I'm not sure why they chose to go with black and yellow rather than green and yellow. But either way, the feather graphics on the mid and the O on the heel keeps them subtle but still dope. Heads up, March 10th is the date and $160 is the price. We don't have much for Jordan brand, but here's some new looks at the Cause Air Jordan 4. There's still no word on an exact release date, but it is sometime this spring, so it should be soon. And unfortunately, no idea on the retailers yet either, but they will be limited and the price is set at $350. I'm kind of surprised at the amount of hate that these have been getting, but for every person who hates them, that's one less person that I gotta worry about getting my pair, so it's all good. And last for today, Jimmy Jazz has a massive restock going down at their grand reopening of their flagship store located at 239 West 125th Street in Harlem this Saturday, March 4th. In total, we have over 100 pairs restocking, even including the original Yeezy 350s and a ton of past Air Jordan releases. This is in-store only, not on their website. And New York, you know I like to ask that you keep the fuckery to a minimum, please. Be safe and good luck. If anyone could pick me up the Beluga V2, I owe you one, but I won't hold my breath. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out!